Today's lesson is going to be on expressions. Expressions can be just one number, or may consist of numbers and operation symbols. So again, it could just be one number, like 3. That is an expression. 7. That's an expression. 18 is an expression. All those have to do with whole numbers. Technically, all these other things here, like 3 and 2 tenths, 3.2, is also an expression. Now, the other thing that I had stated is that expressions can involve operation symbols. Our operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So we can include these, and for now we're just going to go ahead and stick with whole numbers, expressions with whole numbers. So for instance, 3 plus 7 is still an expression. 3 plus 7 is an expression, just like 8 times 2 is an expression. I'll give you some more examples on the next screen. All of these are also expressions. So you've got 9 times 2 plus 1, which is an expression where we have two operations. We've got the times operation, the multiplication, and we also have the addition. And later videos, later videos, what they'll end up saying is that they will end up doing multiplication first, and then your addition. We've also got these other ones here. These ones are a little bit different. These two are a little bit different in that they have parentheses. They have parentheses. And what parentheses tell us to do, these expressions can involve parentheses, and what expressions these parentheses tell us to do is to do that operation first. Do what is in the parentheses first. So we're going to do this 6 plus 4 first. We end up doing that 6 plus 4 first. So if we were to what we call evaluate these expressions, this expression would evaluate to 3. 19 times 4 plus 5 would evaluate to 9 times 4 is 36, 6 regroup to 3, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, 76. We're not done yet, and can't forget that plus 5. You'll notice what I'm doing here is I'm actually putting what I will call a caret to evaluate, show that we're evaluating that 19 times 4 first, so that we're doing and evaluating that expression correctly. Now, if we had accidentally not followed what it is that the parentheses tell us to do first, and we did 4 plus 5 first, we would have come up with an entirely different answer. We'd have ended up with 19 times 9, 19 times 9, and that would not have equaled 81. Now the one, the word that I was continue to use is the word simplify. So if we simplify 9 times 2 plus 1, that looks so messy. But what we can do is we can simplify it. We simplify it and we bring it down to one number, 19. Now which of these expressions, which of these expressions had the biggest value? It was going to be this expression right here had the biggest value. We wouldn't have known that if we can just eye it to know what the expression equals, or if we had evaluated the expressions, or if we had simplified those expressions, it would have been very easy to answer that question that I just posed. Here's some vocabulary for you. Please take a moment to go ahead and copy it down. Go ahead and hit pause to copy this down. An expression. As you can see, I've written down some expressions. What we're going to go ahead and do is to evaluate to evaluate these expressions, or to simplify these expressions. 3 plus 7, it would be a lot simpler if somebody hadn't written me 3 plus 7, if they had just written 10. It would have been simpler and simpler if we simplified that to 10 for... So we've got this messy operation with parentheses here. 20 minus 7 plus 6, again the parentheses tell us what to do first. 7 plus 6 is... 13. And then so we have 20 minus 13. 20 minus 13 evaluates to 7. So we've got this whole expression here, 20 minus 7 plus 6, evaluating down to this one number, 
not only is 20 minus 7 plus 6 equal to 20 minus 13, but it does also equal 7. You'll notice in our expression again, we've got two operations here, addition and division. And later on, you're going to learn something called the order of operations. The way that I've set these up is so that you're going to go ahead and do 8 divided by 4 first, and then we're going to go ahead and add 2. I set these up so that that order of operations thing is not going to confuse us at this point. And what we did is we evaluated and we simplified this expression, 8 divided by 4 plus 2, to 4. Here's a definition for you. Read it with me. When you simplify or evaluate an expression, do all the operations and write the result. Simplify or evaluate an expression. Take a moment to copy it down. Go ahead and hit pause. Here's an example. We've got this expression. It's a long one here. 13 plus 7 minus 5 times 2 plus 27. Guess the only operation this does not include is division. We're going to write the result after we do all the operations. So let's do all these operations. Again, in parentheses, not only do we do that, we do that first. So we got 5 times 2. 5 times 2 equals? 5 times 2 equals? 10, correct. We'll go ahead and keep all the rest there. We'll take this step by step by step. 13 plus 7 minus 10 plus 27. Later on, we're going to learn that you're going to do addition and subtraction from left to right. 13 plus 7 is 20. And then we've got minus 10 plus 27 still. 20 minus 10 is 10 plus 27 evaluates to 37. We did all the operations, and we wrote the result. Isn't 37 so much simpler than 13 plus 7 minus 5 times 2 plus 27? It does evaluate. It does simplify to 37. Here's one more vocabulary term for you. Parentheses. Parentheses. This is an example of parentheses. Are used to show which operations to do first. And so our operations again are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Go ahead and hit pause and take a moment to write this down for yourself. Let's review! Whee! Review time! Hooray! So we have two different expressions here. We've got 3 times 7 minus 8, and we've got 27 minus 9 times 2. A couple of expressions, one of them involving, what are these called again? Parentheses, correct. And we have our instructions here where it says evaluate each expression. Please go ahead and take a moment to copy them down and carefully evaluate them. Evaluate them down to a single number. Hit pause. Hopefully you hit pause. As you can see, I've evaluated these down, both of these expressions down, simplified them to a single number. Now, if you couldn't do this step right here, 27 minus 18 in your head, you can always write them up and down if you need to. The 2 becomes a 1. 17, 17 minus 8 is 9. 1 minus 1 is 0. All right, continue our review. I want you to go ahead and point at all of the expressions that are on this page. You've got four different things here. Point at all of the expressions that are on the page. Hopefully you're pointing at three of them. This one right here is not an expression. It's what we call an equation. It had an equal sign. 3 times 7 technically is an expression, but 3 times 7 equals 21 is a number sentence. It's an equation. All the other ones, 18 divided by 6 plus 2, 14, and 10 plus 6 are expressions. Now looking at those there, and if you need to do the scratch work, do the scratch work. Think of the expression and point to the expression that equals 16. Hopefully you're pointing at this one right here. 
point of the expression that would probably take you the least time to figure out. I think it's this one here. Unless you're really scared of the number 14 for one reason or another. If we if did this to this expression right here, what am I doing to this last expression? I'm doing what? Simplifying. Or if you said evaluating, I would have accepted that as well. Did I do my work correctly? 8 10 divided by 6 is 3. Remember to add that too. Evaluated or simplified this expression to 5. You know all about simplifying expressions and evaluating expressions, and you know what an expression is. Can an expression have an equal sign? Answer to that is no.